You guys, I just had, I'm really hot. <laughs> I just had such a good experience at Old Navy. I was just going to add it into the day and continue on as normal, but I think I'm going to separate it out and do it in a separate video because the reason why I'm here is because someone else did a video and was brave as a plus size woman, did a try on haul in Old Navy and showed the sizes and showed how they fit them. And it gave me the courage to come in and even just try them things on and okay, maybe they actually will fit my body and Old Navy is doing this whole, what do they call body quality, right? Where they put all of the sizes in every style all in the same sections. I, you guys, not having to go to the plus size section is kind of huge. Like, no pun intended. <laughs> such a bad pun. That was such a bad pun. I did not do that on purpose. But to not have to like pinpoint yourself and go back to a certain section was kind of huge for me. I got to stay up front and look through the sizes in the middle section. Anywhere I wanted to go, I could look at any size and any dress that I wanted to and not feel like I'm just in one little zone for plus size. So I'm gonna show you what I filmed in the store and all the dresses and shirts that I tried on. I mainly am trying to find a dress for the fall and a dress for our trip to Maui coming up. I've wanted to have a new dress to wear out at night, going to dinners. When we've had a long day in Hawaii, I really don't like to put shorts back on and, you know, I don't know, I just get super hot in the late evening and it's not as dressy. When we're eating out, I like to like feel like, you know, I'm a little bit dressed up and anyway, and so I've wanted to have a new dress to go out with and not only did I find a dress to go to Hawaii with, I also found one for the fall along with like five others, I like beyond blown. And one of them, it's too big. I don't know if you're a plus size woman and find stuff that's too big, but that doesn't happen for me. I'm gonna take you inside and show you around the store and then I'll show you the try on haul that I did and then come right back and I will show you the dresses that I did get because I kinda had to limit myself <laughs> for budget and, and, then, and another reason. And I'll explain one of those dresses as you see it. So be right back. So as you can see, I actually picked out quite a few things to try on, which actually doesn't happen very often. So here's the first dress that I found. I really liked it. It's made out of t-shirt material, so super comfy, super stretchy. Pockets, you guys, pockets. <laughs> I love pockets and dresses, so great. It was really stretchy, short sleeves, because I get really hot and very flowy. I love the ruffle on the bottom. This dress is a hard no, like box, dress, trash bag, no. Like, <laughs> it was my size, but it was no. Okay, so this dress is really cute, but it is actually one size too big. It's actually my regular size, but it is too big, and I'll explain in a minute why I did or didn't get this dress, but I love the pockets. I love that it was, see how big it is? I'm mad I couldn't find a size smaller. This is a size 3X, and I could have gone to 2X. I That hasn't happened in a long time. I think the dress is just too big, but I actually really like it for the fall. Okay, with this dress, I like the colors. It's very perfect for a vacation. The waistband is stretchy, but I just find that that drawing attention to that part of my waist is not where I want it. And there's no pockets. Really quick, there's no pockets. <laughs> but I just don't need to draw attention to that part of my waist. That's my biggest part. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. This dress, I loved this dress. I absolutely loved it for the fall. I love the color, the rust color. It's perfect. The neckline is great. Those little buttons are cute. The sleeves are great. They're three quarter length sleeves, but they have an elastic around the end so that I can scrunch it up and, you know, I can scrunch it up and let it go down or pull it up if I get hot, which is perfect for the fall and going into winter because I get hot quite often. 
I also really love the ruffle detail at the bottom. I thought that was really pretty. So I had a lot in my Love It section. A lot more than I could get, but I also had a lot in the Not For Me section as well. All right, so as I explained with um, a, lot, a lot of the dresses, they fit and they're stretchy and they're, they're giving and there's just not a lot of pull and stretch across the chest and you can it flows with you and that's really like one of my biggest complaints with plus size clothes is I need to be able to move and stretch and not feel like constrained in my clothes whether it's a dress or a shirt or shorts or whatever so that was kind of my biggest thing now before I show you the ones that I did get and I, I did get two shirts that I did not show in the dressing room because they're anyway they're tank tops and I couldn't show that in the t in the dressing room because I don't have the right underclothing on <laughs> to show so I'll show you those two but the pr the reason why I didn't get the orange dress is because I have it's gorgeous and that rust color is it's I really love it and if I had the budget to just get it to be able to only wear for two months I would buy it but it was $50 40 to $50 I think there was no sale on any of those dresses and the reason why I didn't buy it is because I can't justify spending that much money on a dress only to wear it for one or two months and I just have a hard time wearing orange in December or January because it doesn't go with like Christmas. Maybe in January I could put it back on. So I just couldn't quite justify it. But the two other dresses that I did get, I actually can still wear through the fall into December a little bit with both of them. And then definitely I can wear them in January, February, March, even into April. So I can get a lot more use out of the other two dresses that I got. So I just, I'm, I kind of have to be like that. Some people don't, they just have extra budget and they can just get it whatever, but I can't. So let me show you what I ended up getting. Don't mind the little steering wheel. I don't know how to <laughs> do this any other way in the car. So I've got this tank top, but it's more the shirt style, not like a racer back. This is a 2X and I'm surprised that it fit. It wasn't tight or snug it fit really well I just I know myself and when I'm going from a pool or snorkeling and I don't want to change out of my swimsuit but I also don't want to like get dressed all the way I just want to be able to throw a tank top on and I have new swim shorts that I can technically wear around town if I wanted to and so I just wanted to get a tank top that I could put over the top of my swimsuit and still make it look like an outfit but and, and sightsee or grab lunch or whatever, but not feel like I'm wearing my swimsuit to a food truck, if that makes any sense. So I got one of those, and this is definitely like all cotton. And so I got this one, and this one was $10.99 on clearance. So that's why I picked that one up. And then this is actually a men's tank top. It's the same style, where it's like the shirt style. And this one was $6.99. Again, part of the reason why I bought it, because it was so cheap. Same reason, but a little bit more of a, an athletic type material. I don't even know. It's called the Active, Old Navy Active Core. But this one I actually would wear maybe even when I was fully wet, maybe even in the water. Sometimes I don't want to wear like a nicer swimsuit when I'm snorkeling, but I also don't want to wear like a rash guard. And so I can wear this one and it will dry and wick away the water a little bit. I got that one as well. Now I'll show you the two dresses that I ended up getting. I'll save the the one for last. So this is the one that I got that I think I'm going to take to Hawaii with me. It's t-shirt material, you guys. Total stretchy. It's this one. You saw that one in the dressing room. And it has the cutest like ruffles and pockets. You saw the pockets. Like, I, I love it. It's so comfortable. I don't, I didn't want to get a long dress because I get hot. I was kind of torn about that, but I have looked everywhere. I've looked at every little boutique that Instagram will feed me, you know, an, a promotion for. I've looked at Amazon. I've searched every kind of filter that I could. Midi dresses. I've searched for, um, you know, tropical dresses, Hawaiian dresses. I've searched every single thing I can online and I can't find something in like the, it has to go past my knees. That's just my comfort level and like other things. And I just can't find anything. And so I just kind of, this is kind of a, I don't know, a consolation prize or, a, you know, kind of an exception that I'm kind of making because it's so comfortable on. I got this one, but this one is a good color to be in the fall and January, February. I can totally justify this one because I can keep wearing it. Same with this one. Definitely like a summer style. It's this blue one that you saw me try on, but 
which surprised me, and I wish I had been able to get the smaller size. This one was actually too big. It's not too big in that like it looked like a tent on me, like that turquoise one. Dude, that one looked like an absolute tent. But it fits well enough and it drapes well enough with the, all the ruffles and the buttons and stuff that it, it hung better and it didn't look so much like a tent. But I easily could have gone down to a size 2X and I haven't done that for a long time. I kind of just sucked it up and got the 3X because I really, really wanted it because I can wear it now. I can wear this in the fall. It is a heavier material and so I don't think I'm going to take this one to Hawaii. I think I would die of the heat wearing this one in the summertime or at least in that weather. I could wear it in the springtime and maybe a little bit in this in the summer if I was going into like AC for church and stuff but we don't have good AC at church so <laughs> anyway that is all I got. They didn't even give me a bag because <laughs> that's how it is these days. But I hope you enjoyed that video. I got a lot of motivation from the other lady and I'll try and link her channel. Just seeing her being able to admit that she's plus size and take me into the dressing room. I can't see the glisten. I need to turn my hair on. It's so humid right now. Oh my gosh, it's overcast and it's not raining in Seattle and so it's just humid. It gave me extra motivation to go to the store, see what they had. When I looked online, it did not show that any of these, any of the dresses that I tried on were in stock, like none of them. So I almost didn't come and Jason just said, go, just go and try and see if you can find something. Maybe it's not the styles that you wanted, but maybe you'll find something different that you haven't seen online or whatever. And I found everything that I wanted to get. So if you're the same as me or you just want to be able to like go into a store and be able to try things on, Old Navy stepped up their game. And I'm very proud of them for recognizing that for plus sizes, but also for the younger, you know, the smaller sizes as well. I don't know, like cute styles. So I hope you enjoyed this video and give me a comment below if it helps you feel like you can go into a dressing room and try things on. It's literally been a really long time since I've gone, probably coming up on two years to be honest since before COVID have I gone into a dressing room. So Old Navy did it. Old Navy got me into a dressing room. So I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you have picked up anything at Old Navy and let me know what you've gotten. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.